Good morning, guys. Maritza here. Making a video before I head to church this morning. I hope you guys had a good Sabbath. And those that don't celebrate the Sabbath, I hope you had a nice Saturday. You know, the more and more I um, analyze, and I'm a, I'm a heavy thinker, very analytical. My brain works that way. I always take something and or a thought and I break it apart. And, you know, that's the way that I've been since I was a kid. I see what's taking place in this world. And I, I try to understand the whole concept of why people would choose a life away from God versus a righteous God, fearing God, loving life. A lot of people feel empty and they, they try to replace that emptiness with things of the world because that's what's easy access for everyone. You know, it's either drugs, alcohol, pornography, um, food, you name it. There's just all sorts of different things that people spend their time and engage their hours in instead of building their spirit because they've never been taught the importance of spirit. They've only been taught of the importance of what they can feel, what they can touch, what they can see, what they can hear. They base everything on their senses, but they don't realize what lies ahead and they don't even take the time to understand or to think for one moment, to look around them to look at the world that they're living in, to look at the consistency of life and the miracles that are being performed daily. They don't realize how much it takes for their body just to sit down for all these postural muscles to keep you nicely and straight in a sitting position. They don't even realize what it takes for every cell in your body to communicate with one another and to work as perfectly as they do. Do you understand that there had to be an intelligent design to make everything in your body work perfectly the way that you do? That he knew you before you were even conceived. You like to make those of us feel that we're crazy, that we believe, believe in a sky daddy of sorts, but there is a father, there is a creator. And you do have to bow down to him. You're not your own God. You're nothing without this creator. And, and I know it's difficult because you've not been educated on this at all. The system which belongs to the adversary has worked really hard to train you not to believe in God, to believe in yourself, to create the world that has been created. Look around you. It's important very important for parents to raise their kids in faith. I see what, <laughs> what this world is producing. Men are not men anymore. They don't have any backbone. Women have had to step up. We've had to become the aggressors, the assertive individuals because men are failing tremendously. They wear the little feelings on their sleeves. You can't tell them anything. They become very defensive and then they want to be women. Well, newsflash, if you couldn't make it as a man, what makes you think you're going to be able to make it as a woman? It's not all about the wigs and the makeup and the hair. It's not. Being a woman is a lot of responsibility. God made us for a reason. And, and mothers, Seriously, you're failing your sons. You're just raising a bunch of little, I hate to use the word, pansies that can't even handle a bit of situation before they have to attack and become defensive. There's no backbone in this world anymore. And things are at odds. And that is not what God created this world to be, for it to be at odds, for us to be against one another, for us to engage in, in catastrophes and sins and, and in all the things that we see our world turning into. Vanilla is beautiful. I lived in a world where everything was backwards for too long and it didn't bring me any joy. On the contrary, and if you're honest with yourself, if you're really, really, truly honest with yourself and look within and start to reflect on your life and see where you are, where it's gotten you and where you are heading. 
and you could be really honest, you will understand what I'm talking about. It's not good. Little moments of self-satisfaction leads to a lifetime of destruction. Imagine you see a big chocolate cake and you're thinking to yourself, God, that looks good. I'm going to dig in. If you didn't have any self-control and you ate that entire cake, do you know the ramifications of that, what it would be? Not good. And it's not just the short-term tummy ache that you would get and the spike of sugar that could lead you into diabetes because that cake is not just have, having a tons of sugar. It's got a ton of fat, which fat and sugar together, catastrophe. But it's the long-term effect of what happened when you ate that entire piece of cake. And although you think, well, I only did it one time, that chemical reaction that has just been triggered in your body could be a lifetime of hurt and you don't even know it. People are taking life for granted. People are taking situations for granted. They don't think, they don't realize that what they're doing is destroying not only their world, but the world for their future grandkids and their kids and so forth and so on. We have to be more responsible. We have to be stewards of this world and we have to be godly. That is the only thing that keeps us aligned. Fear of God and understanding that God has rules. Everybody holds on to the whole lovey-dovey, you know, be like Christ and all that stuff. And that's wonderful. Yes, we are to love one another. But do we really know what love is? And that's what I think is being mis misconstrued in life. People just think of love as a warm, fuzzy feeling, doing whatever you want, accept me for me, and don't question if you love me. So what about if I love you, I want you to have eternal life. I want you to be healthy, both emotionally, physically, and spiritually. True love is not about letting people get away with murder. True love is about telling people the truth. True love is about letting people understand the ramifications of things when they do things that are not in alignment with God. People have things all backwards, all backwards. And you don't realize that you're being influenced by darkness who uses love and the tool of grace and all these things that they come up with to change the church, to change the way God feels about his world and his creation so that they can destroy God's creation. This is what it's all about. Wake up for once and for all. You know, I have not been a goody two shoe all my life. I've lived in sin from the moment I stepped out of my mother's womb. So I'm not judging you. I know how it is to sin. I know how it is to walk in that path. I did it for a very long time. And I'm telling you, it gets you nowhere fast. It destroys your, your, your consciousness. It destroys everything, your health. The life that I'm living now is so much better. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I did it all and it got me nowhere. I know how you feel. I know your struggles. I know that, you know, you feel that you're, you've got dysphoria. I know you feel all these things, but you're not looking at the deep issues. I know you feel that you can't be in a relationship with a person in the opposite sex because of whatever reason you were traumatized, sexually abused, your mother wasn't listening to you, didn't give you what you wanted. So instead you went ahead and, and, and decided to find love elsewhere, you know, and it ain't gonna work that way, people. You really have to dig deep and you have to allow God to help heal you. You can't do this on your own. This is why you're having so much problems and so much struggles. You've got to rely on him. You've got to totally understand his mission for you, his purpose for you. When you try to do this on your own, you fail time and time again, then you find excuses and then you get angry at people like me 
who's trying to help you. I may not always have the perfect way of saying it because my, I, I just, I, I don't have patience and I get frustrated very easy. And that's something that I need to work on daily. And I ask God to help me find the ways to speak to you, to reach you, all of you. But I know exactly, exactly what you're going through. I know exactly what you feel. I've been there, done that, have the t-shirt to prove it. Time is short. You can't fall for all this new agey and all this understanding that people are trying to create so they could live their life in their sin and still have a peace of God. And it doesn't work that way. He loves you. There's no doubt he loves you with all his heart and soul, but he cannot be in the same presence as sin. Sin does not allow you to receive the love of Father. He loves you, but you can't receive it because sin gets in the way. Please hear what I'm saying. Work on the things that are keeping you away from Father. Time is short. Time is very short. This is a rescue mission at this point. I wanna see you up in heaven. Please. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Today after church, I go for breakfast and then I'm, I've been um, gifted, one of the sisters in Christ here in, in Silver City, a little makeover type of thing. So that'll be interesting to to see they show me how to do makeup and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And gosh, today is Sunday the 26th, so I leave on the 7th. Time is just going by so quickly, so quickly. So guys, I love you. God loves you. He needs you to understand where he stands. And he's got a book to show us how to do that. The living word of God is in the Bible. People have tried to create their own understanding, create cherry pick verses and Adam and do this, that, and the other, and it doesn't work that way. Love yourselves for real, for real. I know it's hard, I know you're in pain. I know, I know, but there's a way out. There's a way that you will find peace and healing. And that way is through Christ. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.